Hello. Welcome to my video tibians. Today, a very a nice hunting ground for knights. A place where you can get good profits, a place where you can get experience. Shortly said, a great hunting spot. Welcome to Derasha Wera Hyena Cave. Well, good profits and good experience but don't take this hunting spawn for granted. Wera Hyenas can deal a considerably amount of damage in a short period of time so pay extra attention while you hunt here, but I'll go deeper into that later. This cave is rather big, and more than one person can actually hunt here. Other than Wera Lions, this place is free access. Which means, aside for being premium account, you don't have to do any quest for it to enter. It's basically an unwritten rule that you can claim only half of this spawn, either the north part or the south part. For players around 200 to 300 half of the cave is more than enough to maintain full spawn and get the most out of your hunting session. If you happen to arrive to the spawn, and there is no letter and you feel strong enough to handle lots of wear hyenas, the southern part is perfect. In most servers this is one of the most popular spawns because of the reasons I just mentioned. But if you come here for the first time and you have no idea on how to handle the monsters, you've come to the correct place. First of all, where hyenas deal significantly amount of death damage, so a koshe amulet with butterfly ring and moon mirror is top priority for you to wear. With these items equipped you have an extra 16% death protection. You could also go for the death imbuing option, but I'll leave that in the middle. Something that's more important is finishing charms here as soon as possible. You have two options, come here alone and semi-kite the wearer hyenas, in combination with wall hugging, or come here with a druid in the beginning. I personally went for the latter option. We did do a hunting here around level 120 so both of us have the charms completed. And since this area is still a solid hunting ground on later levels, it only benefited us to come here on early stage. In the video you will also see how much damage I took, that is without any prey or charms, but I will activate dodge charm so you can see the comparison. If you are really struggling, you can also activate a prey on regular wear hyenas since they are most dominant here. Either a damage or defense prey will work best as you won't get the max out of either loot or experience prey. You have to consider if it's worth the cards, or money. I'm also a fan of the experience. While not being super prepared and not full boxing, I still had around 3kk experience per hour so this place will only rise in experience the higher level you are. But something else I was even more so surprised by, the profits. You can see in my supply analyzer that I've used quite some supreme health potions, without any charm activation I could still profit decently. So if I were to switch to ultimate or even great health potions and dodge charm active, this place is a raw gem. A raw gems that's full of loots. They drop lots of items and creature products so you'll be visiting the depot quite often when you're here. Where hyenas are 25% extra weak to holy which makes this a nice paladin hunting spot. But the same counts for knights and mages since they are 20% extra weak to ice damage. So you can hunt here with your ice weapon. Maybe an extra tip, you can imbue your backpack when you hunt here, so you can bring extra supplies or carry more loot with you. I personally didn't imbue because I found it close to depot already, and I didn't care about running back and forth every now and then. But that's entirely up to you. Depending in which area you are hunting in, this spawn is pretty straightforward. I'm doing my routes in clockwise circles and I'm staying on the same floor. If you take the monsters on the floor above you, it will only decrease your experience if you're in the south area. In the northern area you can take the pull on the higher floor, else you might run out of respawn. For this hunt I had 2 times mana, 1 crit and 1 life as imbuement, all tier 3. But if you want, you can swap 1 mana for a life imbuement. You have to come to this place to test it out how it works with the imbuements you are currently wearing. I didn't really mention it earlier because I kept talking about charms and how hard they hit, but as minimum level requirement to hunt here I'd say 200 for safety. Anything below that level is quite dangerous as you don't have the proper health pool. But again, that's my personal recommendation. I didn't go in depth how a mage should hunt here, that's because I will do another video about it in the future, so feel free to subscribe, you'd greatly support me in growing my channel. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I will see you again, hopefully, in the next one. Stay safe.